swag, bitch. Hello, everybody. Um, some of you were asking me the last time how I did it to manipulate my saves for Dark Souls 3. And it's pretty, it's pretty much the same way that I did with God of War, but the only difference uh, with uh, this one is there's a little bit more to it than just uh, doing a few clicks. Um, I'll show you here in a minute how I did it. I don't, uh, I don't claim to know too much about advanced mode. I'm just getting like my toes wet, you know, just to see what it's about and. So far, I learned a little bit, you know, but I still don't get it too much. But I'll show you what I learned whenever I uh, was playing Dark Souls 3 and I used it for Dark Souls 3. So uh, just for the purpose of, of, uh, of this video here, I made a new character. Okay, so now that I've made... I, if you haven't made your character yet, your new character, go ahead and and do that now. Um, all right. One other thing I want to show you too is very important. No. Okay, so your uh, your eight your HP. Okay, so. You see that number right there, that that three that three digit number right there. So make sure you write it down or remember it or whatever. So mine is four fifty four, and yours will probably be different from mine depending on what type of character you pick. So remember that number right there, uh, four fifty four fifty four, because we're gonna be needing that soon. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit the game now. All right, I'm gonna close it. And uh, at this time, this would right now would be a, a good time for you to go ahead and and save your save your game save for Dark Souls Three onto your USB flash drive. If you saw my uh, God of War video, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so once you have your save on your USB your USB flash drive, you're gonna go ahead and uh, get out of here. So we're gonna go ahead and. Minimize this here, and uh, once you have your your save copied onto your flash drive, go ahead and plug it into your PC. I've already done that, so that's why uh, you don't see nothing happening here on my screen. So after you got your flash drive plugged into your PC, go ahead and open up Save Wizard. Okay, so. What we're looking for is Dark Souls, right? All right, so we're gonna go ahead, and that's the save right there. So we're gonna right click and click on Advanced Mode. Just give it a minute. Sometimes it takes a, it takes a little bit for it to load up the save. And I don't know if you noticed uh, in the video, but you can if you didn't see it you can uh, you can re you can rewind the video back um i named my my character uh with all cap like all capital letters cuz we're that's in, that's important as well see so let's go ahead and, and get started all right so what we're doing is we're going to look for the our health which was uh, which mine was 454 so remember earlier when I told you remember that that decimal so you might have to write it down or something if you forget so what that we're gonna type in is 454 and then we're gonna hit find okay so let me close it and let me see okay see uh, since I named my character Ted and you can as you can see this is uh, my character stats right here 
So right here where this C is at, what you want to type in on your key on your keyboard is F F F F F F. Oh, and then leave those at zero zero. Okay, so we're gonna move on to C six right here. And we're gonna do the same thing. F F F F F F. And then leave those at zero as well. And then we're gonna move over to this other C6 right here, and we're gonna do the same thing. F F F F F F. Alright. So now uh, I know like this like what I'm doing here it's only for your health your stamina and your magic okay so I I don't know which particular line is for your health and which one is for your magic so anytime I see any anything that's different I just go ahead and change it anyway like you're gonna you're gonna stop changing it up to where your name your name is at see like where mine is at so I'm gonna go over to 5d and do the same thing F F F F F F leave that as zero zero and like I was saying before too earlier you can do the same thing for uh, Bloodborne and it works it's j it's the exact same thing so F F F F F F okay see zero zero same thing I don't want to sound like a broken uh like a broken record so I'm just gonna Uh, I'm not going to repeat it all the time, but same thing here. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right here. All right. So we're going to go down here as well. F, 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 F. All right. Alrighty then. Oh no no no. Oop, almost messed up. Do you do any anything that looks the same, like all these zeros don't mess with these, just mess with the ones that the the things that look different, like this O B right here and this uh zero F, you know what I mean? Because the rest I really don't know what they do, so just follow along with, with what I'm doing and you should be fine. Alright. And then just change those to zero. All right, so that that should be it right there. This line right here, you don't want to go past this line right here because this is where your name is at. Okay. So me, where I started from, where I started from, where my health, where my health was at, which was four fifty four. So from there, that's where I started, and I just I didn't change any of these zeros right here. I just changed the ones that look different to me. So after I after I had after I have all these values changed, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit apply. And okay, just hit yes. You can ignore that. Now just give it a minute to load up. Okay, modifications successfully applied. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close uh, Save Wizard now. And I'm going to eject my, my uh, flash drive. All right. 
So we're, I'm gonna go ahead and open this back up. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back in already. Oh, I really gotta get a new chair. All right, so it's gonna be the same thing uh, as before, but in reverse. Okay, application save data management, save data on USB storage device, copy to storage system. So the one we want is Dark Souls, which is the one at the very top. So we're gonna go ahead and check that, hit copy. And uh, yeah, yeah you, if you have a, look, uh, if you have a save already and you don't wanna like mess it up or anything, go ahead and make a backup copy of your original save. That way you have something to fall back to, but I'm going to just go ahead and overwrite my current save on the system with the one with the flash drive. All right, so now let's <laughs> let's open up our, our uh, Dark Souls 3 and see if it worked. Now... Uh, I can't remember if you do get unlimited health or, or what, but I know, uh, like, you could get in trouble if you play online like this. Oh, no, we'll find out right now whether it worked or not. Because I, when I did it, I did it a long time ago, and I re honestly don't remember how it turned out. Oh, la 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 la, okay. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, I know, I've been penalized. I'm not gonna play online. This is, I don't know why it set my status to online, but this is just for the purpose of this video for anybody who else who wants to know i don't uh, go online playing like this against other people i don't think it's fair whoa shit look at that look at my health look at my magic and look at my stamina yup it worked it worked Save wizard never fails me. It worked. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and fight the boss just to see doing anything to me. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please uh, leave a like and make sure you subscribe. Thank you.